What's going on guys? My name is James Collects and if you are finding me for the first time, I am both a nerdy collector and an eBay reseller. Quick video as to the bits that I bought on this particular duration of midweek rubbishness. Uh, first up we have a Frozen DVD, paid a whopping pound. Uh, I think the trading is about two or three and sells for four or five or something stupid uh, on CEX. I've just gone uh, and gone back through all of the kids DVDs that I've got. And I've got a crate's worth of mainly Disney DVDs. So I don't know whether to start a multi-listing and do them all that way. Or redo them all again as bundles. Because they were in bundles originally. And then I've taken them all down because I was hoping that they would go for Christmas. But the, the biggest issue I had was I closed my eBay shop. Uh, I think I did it. In the first week of December because of uh, the little and being born and I didn't want to have too much going on at once so I'm fairly sure I shut my eBay down yeah in the first week of December so I missed out on a lot of Christmas sales but frozen DVD was a quid we also have this Tonka truck now this is only half of it the other half is over here and I paid a fiver for everything uh, it's supposed to be a hands-on control i've had a very quick look online and i can't find anything at all which is really annoying me so i'm gonna have another look but it's 2001 i think yeah 2001 made in china tonka hasbro incorporated i i don't know what it's worth to be honest so if any of you guys can point me in the right direction i will be forever in your debt Next up is a camera. It's got a lens on it. I don't know much about cameras, but this one was £15. Now, I, I think I had a very, very quick look online and it's going for more than £15. Uh, the only thing is, this is from a charity shop, which is... They, they, they do their research on stuff and it's probably going to be close to the asking price. The only thing they may have got wrong is potentially the lens that is involved with it. Now, it did come with a case, which is a serious case and it's got some paperwork with it which it may actually be the right one i don't know uh is 1000 f uh OS, yeah it looks to be maybe this, the right one so that's uh 15 quid i i don't know the um the lens that it comes with is a 35 to 80 millimeter uh, is it Canon? I presume it is. Yeah, Canon as well. So should do okay out of that. As for what, I absolutely no idea. So yeah, that one was 15 quid. And to be honest, I sort of bought it just because it was there. Then back at one of my more local charity shops, they've had uh, the PS1 version of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on sale for, for £9.95. And that's been on sale for about three weeks now and it's still there i wonder why uh but they did have 50 percent off of men's clothing which meant it was actually worth buying some clothes so i got myself a pair of hunter wellies obviously i've only shown you the one because the other one is just a mirror image so i these were up for 30 quid so i paid 15. size eight so it's a nice normal size it's a an average size so we should have no problem in getting rid of these whatsoever uh, obviously needs a bit of a clean but there's very little wear on the sole so i i think we're gonna do okay um as for what they're actually worth off the top of my head no idea although a part of me does kind of want to keep them because i mean i tried them on and it's a big size eight but whether you're supposed to wear really thick socks i don't quite know so yeah pair of hunter wellies 15 quid Bought some bits from B&M. Bargains and madness, apparently. So these were £4 a piece. Now, this video is not going to come out until uh, a few weeks after they've actually arrived in store. But these were £4 each. Now, there's a lot in the set. You can see there is... I'm trying to read this backwards on the smaller screen. is impossible. So we've got Super Saiyan Goku, Goku, Vegeta, Super Saiyan, Piccolo, Future Trunks, uh, Boo with Gohan uh, absorbed, Freezer final form kid boo freezer second form cell gohan and then gogeta or vegeto always get two mixed up goku and vegeta so i basically bought whatever they had in store so i've got 
a Super Saiyan Gohan, a Super Saiyan Goku, a Piccolo, another Piccolo, a Super Saiyan Vegeta, a Super Saiyan Vegeta, a Super Saiyan Goku, and a Super Saiyan Gohan. So they cost me £32. Now I'm going to keep obviously one of uh, each for myself. I'm going to try and get hold of the other sets. Currently online they're going for, I think someone's got them for like £8 postage per item. But I think it's the way they've listed it. So they're the only one that comes up in a certain listing. So yeah, I'm going to take one of each of, well, of the whole thing and hopefully complete the set at some stage and then shift the rest. I reckon it's going to be an easy money doubler, to be honest. Apparently, these originally retailed at £15 each. Next up is Kirby's Epic Yarn on the Wii. I I don't actually think I have this in my own personal collection. So I might keep hold of it. I might sell it. I've not quite decided yet. Uh, it's in fairly good condition. And yeah, I am very tempted to keep hold of this one for the time being. Next up is a football t-shirt and it is a West Ham t-shirt. It's very faded. Uh, it's obviously been, been well loved and well used. Now, as for what year, I don't quite know. To be honest, I should be able to have a quick Google search, uh, look at the sponsorship and the, to be fair, West Ham appear to have the same like kit for the last 20 years. So it may take a while, but official replica merchandise, Reebok, and I paid four pound fifty goodness gang strawberry paid a pound i've got a washing basket on top of the spare bed full of these guys i've probably got about 25 to 30 of them just sitting there needing to be separated and listed so another one to add to the pile but for a quid i couldn't really say no and then shoes i was in where was i, I think i was over in marlow uh, on the way to a job and I stopped off at a charity shop and they must have just had or just put the shoes out because I think the prices are very reasonable and they are fantastic quality and they shouldn't be that hard to get rid of. So this is like a, oh, it's a nice suede. It is Sanders made in England. Always nice to have something made in England. Uh, it's Joel in 10 and a half, uh, 17th of December, 0409, whatever the hell that is. Uh, this particular pair cost me six pounds, which is yeah, it's nice It should be a really easy straightforward listing. I've not done many shoes But I think it's about time I start getting into them. So we've got another pair of brown leather this time um, So these are made in England leather upper lining It doesn't actually say the size in it, which is incredibly annoying although it might say it on the sole Nope, but as you can see, sole is quite clean, barely used, uh, nice condition. There's a little paint splatter just there, which I'm hoping I can gently rub that off and, or at least encourage it off. And this is by Alfred Sargent, shoemaker, made in England, British Goodyear, welted footwear. Welted? Welted? Welted, apparently, whatever that means. Uh, and this pair cost me £12. And that was the most expensive uh, pair of shoes that they had in the shop. But these were in fantastic condition. And then I think this is the last item, which is another pair of shoes. Uh, brown. And it's like a almost suede type substance. These are by Camper. Uh, and the original price was 55 quid, apparently. Uh, doesn't actually say a date in there. Uh, m made in Spain, though. Oh, I can't get on a Brexit bandwagon with these. Um, but yeah, uh, again, the the back is in really nice condition. So all I'm going to do is do what I normally do, is use the top of one of my storage trays and just fill that with soapy water. So it's only about an inch deep or so, at least so that it's not going above the, the rubber on the sole of the shoes. Leave it to soak overnight and then use a separate uh, nail scrubber just to go through gilt the dirt out and that normally brings them up absolutely lovely and there we go that is absolutely everything from this week so it's been a very very cold week we've had a few days where it has been freezing uh, first thing in the morning uh, i've not even been leaving that late i've only been leaving the house at maybe this week I would say between 7 and 8.30 so not particularly early and this morning I left the house at 8.15 and the van was completely frozen so 
what well, that's going to do for the Sunday car boot absolutely no idea so uh, it could be a complete and utter dud we've struggled the last few weeks with numbers um, apart from last week where it started to go back up again I've got a feeling the weather this weekend is going to be absolutely dire uh, but yeah we'll give it a go that's all we can do as always thanks for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and I'll see you lovely lot in the next video good gaming and happy collecting adios